human torch was denied a bank loan. The human torch hey, was yo. denied a bank loan. Hey, yo. That's a You're ready to go. In the world. Yo. <laughs> yo, that's what was funny back. Yo, that nigga's a genius. He's a fucking genius, yo. I'm surprised I ain't see Strays yet. I ain't watch it yet. Mm. I haven't that watched shit it yet. Is funny. I haven't watched it yet. He said, I'm going to go back and I'm going to bite his dick off. What? <laughs> yeah, watch it. <laughs> watch bite the dude. He said, he's, I'm a, he's a dog. He's like, that's I'm going to rip it now. right off. <laughs> that's what that's what, that's what what tickles your fancy? Yeah, biting dicks off. <laughs> biting dicks. Jennifer. And cash and checks. Lorraine, what is it? Lorena Bobbitt, the dick. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> So man, listen, man. This, listen, we were <laughs> talking about movies, yo. We were talking about backstage was like uh death of sitcoms, dog, man. Like <laughs> what? Okay, Dre, what did I do wrong? <laughs> Look, you behind right now. You're behind. <laughs> I'm looking at this. Go ahead. Cause I got Dre, I got you no, cheap. you're so you need behind. To, <laughs> you need ahead, to man. stop being so damn cheap, Dre. That's ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta get another pair. I got headphones. God damn. I got headphones. I'm just saying now so with behind. the action. Gravity he thought, I was, he thought I was laughing at him. him. Yeah. <laughs> what I do now, Dre? What I do? <laughs> huh? I was just talking about backstage, and then you laugh at me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go ahead, dog. Go ahead. Black <laughs> Mandalorian. <laughs> I'm the black Mandalorian. You're right. <laughs> Blandalorian. <laughs> Come on, bro. Give it I to got, me. I got a little Mexican baby with me. <laughs> Name Jorge the Rod Shotgun. Damn. That's a deep cut. I'm sorry. I, I don't watch Mandalorian. My bad, bro. I don't watch what? Mandalorian. Mandalorian th 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 but I'm saying Mandalorian is not Yoda. He, he just found Yoda and Yoda just tag teamed up with the nigga and they go around the galaxy uh, bounty hunting shit. Together, is it dope? Something my aunt told me that, um, before we get into it, my aunt told me that The Mandalorian was great. She said, You don't have to watch Star Wars yeah, to my, get The Mandalorian. Is it good? Yeah, my, from what my uncle tells me, he watches it. Um, I've so seen a couple of episodes. Ah, uh, no, I haven't watched I just wear a t shirt. My uncle told me the same thing, but he's a huge Star Wars head, so he watched, he's yeah. been watching Star Wars since the 70s. He watched every movie that ever came out. I mean, every Star Wars movie that ever came out. So He's watched the Mandalorian, all the stuff that Disney's been doing with um for our Star Wars. Star Wars and he Universe. says, yeah, okay. he says is is good, man. He says it's, it's a good show to watch, and okay. that leads us in the next thing. Like, what the fuck happened to our shit? Like, TV shows is good, but like sitcom is like a dead thing now. Like, it used to be a time between Thursday and Friday, sometimes Saturday. Thursday through Sunday was like, yo, yeah, those Sunday were the was, days. Was there, yeah. The, yeah, those were the days everybody came to the TVs. We sat down, we watched our shows, and we had a good laugh. Yeah. Like, I can start back. The first sitcom I can ever remember watching, which I wish they would bring back, is The Cosby. Could... <laughs> I wish you they sure? would, man. They didn't... <laughs> I know Bill did some <laughs> shit, but that's Bill. Allegedly, and I don't think he did allegedly. it, but we can keep going. Uh, yeah, allegedly. But it portrayed black people, you know, in a different light than everybody seen. Like everybody was doctors, they went to school, the kids had aspiration of going to college. It was like a positive scene for black people, but it also had real elements of, of what black culture went through. You didn't play with your motherfucking mom, or you didn't play with your dad. They never you never seen the kids get their ass whipped, but you knew when uh Phyllis Richard would go the fuck off, yo, who on them kids. That's her name, right? Phil, Phil Rashad. Rashad. Felicia. It's okay. Felicia Rashad, my bad. Yeah, don't ever, don't ever fuck that shit up, bro. That's a that's a she black was, treasure. Not Phyllis, man. That's a black treasure. She was fine Felicia. as hell back in the day, though. That is a black treasure. Yeah. Period. But you, back. but you remember that show? Like, dude, I'll be watching clips on down on Facebook. I'm like, yo, why they can't bring this just the reruns back? Well, I got one reason. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Um, <laughs> well, well, I, at one point, that was the joy that I got is Cosby reruns. Uh, before all that shit came out, there was Cosby reruns all the time on many, uh, on many. Hold on, I don't know what's going on here. On um, on many networks, it was a cash cow, honestly, and that's really what it is. It's like a lot of shows 
don't make it into syndication like like you would think because there's no place for them. Um, only the really popular shows. And a lot of times they get syndicated while still on the air. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I don't know anything about the television business, but uh, traditional sitcoms, man, they are missed. But like me and you was talking about off camera, is there a place for the traditional sitcom with laugh tracks, all tracks, that sweet, sweet saxophone that came on on the fire shows? <laughs> is, there, is there a place for that now for people to enjoy? Because the kids might say, this shit is trite. These people are, you know, giving us obvious lessons that we already learned from fucking the bitch on YouTube. Well, I mean, I mean, nowadays when you're watching a TV show, they're looking for straight comedy, straight action. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. When I watch TV shows now, I skip the fucking intro. They give you the option, Netflix, skip intro. I don't need to. I don't need this 20 seconds of my life when I'm Netflix. watching this. What? I'm saying, yeah, I skip intros because I don't. If I've seen the intro the first time, I don't need to keep seeing the same intro. I, I am the same. I don't the Loki intro. I want to. I want to watch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, so in West Philadelphia, day, born and raised. No, I don't need to hear that every day. I, I know the whole song by heart when yeah, I had to listen to it. Yeah. See, back then you didn't have you didn't have an option. It was just when you turned it on, you had to watch it. There was no fast forward and none of that shit. You were just watching that shit. But now you got the option. I mean, they'd be like, eh, do you really want to watch? No, I don't want to see this intro. Boop, and keep it moving. You know what I mean? So when you're looking for a television show nowadays, you're trying to get to the meat and potatoes of the show. You want to get to the comedy. You want to get to what's going on with the show. We don't get that nostalgia of music beforehand. And then there's, but there's some shows like when you listen to animes, when you watch animes and you get the beginning, it's something that intrigues you about that beginning intro. You know what I mean? I don't know, maybe because it's different, it's foreign or something like that, but you kind of get into it. It's like, it's like the jump off before you really get into your show. Well, so I guess I it really depends what, on the content you you intend on watching. Well, speaking for anime, because I'm an anime watcher, animes, their intros, what a lot of people don't know is when they come, they switch their intros every season most of the time. And their new intro has something to do with the new season of the show you're about to watch. So it's you will see on their cat characters that are hidden in the new intro that you won't see damn near till the end of that arc is over so that's why that's why they get that shit off because like who's this character that's like you vaguely see but he's there so that's why the anime intro but I, speaking on sitcoms dog like real shit like the intros was <laughs> intros made everything like yeah, yeah, yeah. kicking it you knew yeah. boom or it's living when that shit came on you heard that shit is like yo Time to sit down. Time for me to watch that, my show. And I think another reason sitcoms have got killed, dog, is because of the option of DVRs and and the ability, like you said, Netflix is just watching a whole series sitting down. Back then, dog, you missed your sitcom. If you missed your episode on Thursday, everybody talked about that shit. Yo, did you see yep. Thursday ep- episode? And you cannot <clears throat> You can't watch that until the fucking reruns come on in the summertime when the show goes off. <coughs> so you just like you motherfucker. So I think some of that kind of kills that kind of kills sitcoms too, man. That and and the fact that when you go to watch uh, a sitcom, for the most part, like <clears throat> Netflix creates sitcoms and shit like that that you can watch the whole season in one sitting. There is no waiting for. Um, there, there is no waiting for a Friday to come. You get directly into uh all right, first done done the first episode, let's go to the next episode. Next thing you know, you've done the season in a day or two if you're just sitting there watching it with your wife, you know what I mean? Six episodes, six, seven episode seasons. That shit is done and over with. If you just sit on sit on a Saturday chilling with your wifey, y'all plan on watching something, you're gonna binge watch. I mean, I don't know I how many people. Yeah, especially especially a favorite show, you know what I mean? Me, Upload. I binge watch uh uh Umbrella Academy. I, I I binge the shit out of Stranger Things. Holy shit. You know what I'm saying? We definitely did seasons. We we definitely did seasons in a in two days type shit in the weekend like, oh, okay. Now we got to wait 6 months 
for the next season. And then you fuck around Stranger Things, you gotta wait two years. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. You know what I mean? But I don't know what you're talking about. Don't worry about it. But that I, that because but I'm we're talking about sitcoms. Sitcoms was basically comedians who got shows. What's the difference between Be a sitcom and a, and a, and a, and a TV it's a series? Sitcom, is it, it's a comedy. Sitcom live sitcom. Action. There's sitcoms it's and there's live action. There's, yeah, single, there's single camera and there's multi-camera. So that's really what we're talking about. One is filmed. I'm sorry to cut you off. Uh, one is filmed on a state. Well, traditionally, one is filmed on a stage with a live studio audience, um, mm -hmm. how, it, how it was. And then one is filmed in a studio kind of closed where, you know, it's like, you know, either you got the camera tracking or I, I never went to film score, nothing like that. But, you know, I'm a T I'm an avid TV watcher. It's it's like asking in the 90s, what was the difference between Family Matters and NYPD Blue and NYPD Blue and NYPD Blue? You know what I'm saying? Like the way they shot it was different. One was a drama. One was, you know what I mean? Like it's 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 a lot of differences. But really, the main difference is shot on stage in front of a studio audience. Yeah, yeah because there were certain houses. I seen somebody post a joint on Facebook where that's they dope. showed all they showed all the living rooms. Yep, and you can name the living rooms like yo, that's Family Matters. That's um, some of them was the same. Mar and Full yeah, House. Some Full House had the Full same. House. Rooms. <laughs> Full House. Yeah. Step by step was the same house. <laughs> uh -huh. Some of them was the same. And you and you pick up on it like, <clears throat> but they oh, moved shit. that. Yo, they, wait a minute. That's a different color, but that's the same shit, yo. Oh, shit, when they moved out, niggas moved in. <laughs> niggas moved in. <laughs> no, I remember, I, I seen, I was watching the old Cosby, like the pilot episode. I'm like, yo, the house switched up a lot on the Cosby. Like, the stair, they, like the living room, money. the living room was small and shit. doctor money. The yeah. doctor lawyer money, they started moving up. <laughs> yeah, but it was like, yo, it was different. Nah, like, <laughs> so they you know, said, you can shoot your shit inside Three's company shit. Oh, Three's company who was my shit, dog. But you can shoot your shit inside there, and if your shit get picked up, we'll give you a living room. Dog, yo, <laughs> did you kitchen. watch Three's company? Yes, Kev. Oh, that's my shit, dog. Yeah, Fucking, uh, who else like, had this uh, name? Suzanne what, what was the shit? Uh, hanging with Mr. Cooper and uh, and and I sister, imagine. sister, they had the same cribs. That's crazy. <laughs> did they? That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they switched yeah. it up over time, but yeah, I believe so. It's a lot of that shit that was going on. Yo, the beauty everybody the had that revolving kitchen door. <laughs> oh, I want one. <laughs> I want one as my front door. <laughs> Get my wife right out of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that shit. <laughs> oh, flip back and forth. <laughs> they always used to just walk through. Nobody ever opened the door. Nobody. First of all, I I don't ever see. Doors to kitchens and any house that I go to, you know what I'm saying. But on every TV show, they had to walk through a door to get to, get the, to kitchen. the kitchen. I'm well, they like, yo, the kitchen private as hell. They can't show you what's on the other side. It's just niggas in there smoking and shit, <laughs> waiting for the next scene. Nah, <laughs> no, the grip. nah. The first Prince didn't have. First Prince was the only one that didn't have. They didn't that door. They, they had you go to the living room to the kitchen, which yeah, was, made, was you just didn't know what the upstairs looked like. It was a mansion, though. You like the upstairs was like I think you only bedroom. seen the upstairs in the first so couple got, of episodes. Got, now you just seen the bedrooms upstairs because they always yeah. had scenes in bedrooms. You know what I mean? But yeah, but yeah you never got to go up the steps. They like nah, nigga, these steps don't go nowhere. These this shit leads to the dressing room. <laughs> right. Beautiful. Yeah. I, I miss that simplistic shit, man. I needed. I I really wish that we had like more of a simplistic view on how we watch TV now. Cause I love the great things, but I feel like those should be movies. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's enjoy them that way. But that's a whole nother thing. You can but, continue. Well, I think our here's another thing about into, like little cartoon comedies now, like family guy and, oh, and American just... dad. Those are like, I feel like those are starting to take the place of the sitcom television shows that we used to have because okay. that's the cartoon format. I mean, think about it. They go from room to room to room to somebody else's house to, you know what I mean? And it's just cartoon style. It's easier for them to draw something up and have somebody just talk. You don't have to have live action. You don't have to have somebody fucking up. You know what I mean? You don't need, you don't need nobody in the crowd. So it, I mean, think about it. it's a lot of cartoon shows that do that now. But just but the, the, they all be thinking the Simpsons. But this is the thing yeah, they can't. Simpsons. This is the Simpsons. But this is the thing they can't take from sitcoms. Sitcoms back in the day, especially black sitcoms. Yo, you got a lot, a lot of your style from them sitcoms. Remember, fucking Martin and Will Smith 
uh, Fresh Prince, they used to always have the newest Jordans on every single episode. Them niggas had some of the flyest Jordans, some of the flyest, like, crawl, at the time, cross color or clothes that you got your style from. Like, they didn't, that's another thing I don't think they, which, they mess up which show, on the newest. What show did you get your style from? No, I remember when if, if, if that most influenced you personally, not everybody, I, you fr fresh prince. Cause I remember when Will had the when they used to have the when Will had the 12 inch um Tim's on the higher Tim's, the bigger Tim's, and he opened them shits up. And I'm like, yo, I went and got a pair of them shits. Like seeing him rock that shit, because Will used to have some fly shit on. Today, like when sitcoms started getting into like 2000, like they start wearing like whatever generic bullshit they could find, but Will always had, like, the Nike track suits on, the fly. He had some of the Flyers Jordans on and Tim's. And it's like, yo, I can relate to that dude. <clears throat> Tell me I'm wrong. I don't know if I... I'm at that. At the, I'm keeping 100 with you. At the time that Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was on and Martin uh, was on and all that shit, I wasn't buying my own clothes then. It was the early 90s. Get it, though. I had to, I I had to, I had to get what what my parents were influenced like my dad watched shows my dad liked stuff he would buy me shit unless i'm asking for something you know what i mean i'd ask my grandparents yo i want this and if i'm lucky enough to get it or if i did good they'll get it for me but for the most part if when i'm when i'm at that age let's say fresh prince and fucking martin came out what around from 92 to 94 right them shows were Ooh. really flourishing yeah, yeah. Fresh Prince came Martin out. Martin was yeah. definitely out in '92. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And Fresh Prince was definitely out around '92 too, right? Came out uh, probably until '98. Yeah, until yeah. So like that. What, so in that upper 1990 upper, to '96. Like, like I said, and when you were really like when it was really thriving was mm -hmm. around '92. That's when they were bumping. You know what I mean? When you see that shit, yeah, you asking your parents for it, but when your parents are seeing it. They looking at that shit like, oh, this some, oh, that's a nice ass sweatsuit Martin got on. They going out to cop that shit. Maybe it might cop one for you too. You know what I'm saying? Or cop some sneakers. When we were growing up, we were, I was more into like sports and shit like that. What, what, what are, what are the sports people wearing? What do my friends got on? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, but when it, when it was time for me to be able to dress myself, and I was buying my own shit, I was watching shit like. uh I don't know, maybe Alf. Single, oh. uh, Nickelodeon shows for sure. My brother and me, when you were younger and shit, and Goo would have them motherfucking denim sets on and shit like that. That shit was fire too. <clears throat> but I don't, I can't recall a time that I was old enough that a show actually influenced what I wore myself. Like I went out and bought something because somebody was wearing it on television, on a television show. Maybe, maybe what I like to wear, maybe but, like, as far as like, oh, that would be cool, but I, I would have to agree with Kevin. I understand what you're saying. Um, to me, that came a little later and that came with rappers. Um, because yeah. yeah. rappers influenced my whole like the whole neighborhood, and I would wear what the guys on the court, like my cousins and all, like I would wear what they would wear. Because if you came around there with some shit and it wasn't up to snuff, they could start yep. busting for you. But yep. in school, I wasn't buying my own shit. So it was like, yeah, I might want those Jordans. But those Jordans was roughly what? A hundred and something and dollars. I, and and I, my parents I mean, were not I mean, buying. I'm going to say my mom. My mom wasn't buying me no hundred dollar shoes back then. That was not even a thing. Nah, but so eighth grade. Of, Speaking about rappers' influence, you remember the rappers used to come on the TV show on, on the sitcoms? Best had... thing ever. <clears throat> ever. Best. No. Yeah, I, got some, I got some hate to get off, too. I'm going to let go you ahead. go ahead. Then I'm going to get my no, no, no. I'm just, no, no. I'm just talking because I'm, I'm Family Matters. They had a lot of R&B singers come through. I'm glad you Martin, said Who came on that shit? That shit. Oh, they, you had them on there. You had Martin had. I mean, Martin had big. I yeah. think you had Martin had everybody on that movie. Martin had everybody. Fresh Prince had a couple. Bell Biv they had Bell Biv yeah, but yeah, you remember that one. That was fire too. Yeah, yeah. but you that episode that was, itself was fire. Yeah. But them episodes, yeah. like, could you ever see rappers like like somebody do a sitcom now and a rapper come through? You'd be like, eh. no, it's still a thing. Yeah, but so go ahead. Which hate you gotta get off? 
Eddie. Eddie. Oh. You can't fucking sing, nigga. <laughs> oh, who's he saying? He tried to sing a bunch of fucking times. He was with Eddie somebody. Trash, bro. It was a girl to say tender, tender kisses. I forget yeah, her name. Tender kisses. It was like fucking 93 or something. Tender some shit. kisses. So she in there, Eddie. You're so unpredictable. Eddie, you ass. You are an ass. <laughs> I watched that shit now. Somebody showed me a clip and I'm like, dog. <laughs> dog. The producer should have been like, yeah, now nah, we're going to scrap that whole scene. <laughs> you got to- we going to scrap it. <laughs> Bring Urkel in. Bring Urkel <laughs> Bring oh, Urkel. Tell him Eddie. to do it. Everybody do the Urkel instead of this shit. <laughs> but Eddie was that dude then, dog. Eddie was like, chicks loved the Eddie, though. We can get into the... No, they didn't. We can get into the, the... What bitch you know... Excuse me, women. What woman you know now, like, oh, Eddie was so fine. That nigga is not on the top 10 list for any women at all. <laughs> I'm really? hating on Eddie Winslow today. He was trash. <laughs> he, was, yo, he was corny. Listen, you ever hear him... You ever hear him go up and talk to a girl like how he how they would make him go talk to girls? Oh, it was what? Hey, well, baby, you that? <laughs> sit your goofy ass down. Go make a I... sandwich, Laura. <laughs> Fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> you on, you on Waldo with that trash ass fade? You see Waldo fade? Oh, we had Waldo fade. They used to fuck him up. We, him and Weasel, Weasel, always chewing the gum. Like nigga, where do you? Why you keep chewing gum, my nigga? <laughs> that's that's your takeaway. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm talking about. I'm gonna tell you about. I'm just talking about that show. Family Matters was a good show, but it was a little at that time. It was a little too popcornish. It was like it was like a little corny, dog. It was TGIF. TGIF. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was TGIF. It was on that. But you watch it as you started getting your teenage years because when when it first came out, I was a kid, so it was good to watch. Like I was like ten, you know, seven, eight years old. Then when I start getting got to my teenagers, like 12, 13, it's like, yo, I, I don't want to watch this shit. Like, yo, when is Fresh Prince coming on or when is Martin coming on? It's like I, this shit is like it's always a life lesson. They have that, they break down the music when Eddie would do something stupid. You know, it's saxophone. Dad, it's saxophone. <laughs> that shit was that shit was fire. <laughs> Oh shit! The cut Yo, so, hold on, hold on. Before I'm, t- you could go ahead. I don't want to interrupt. No, 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 no. No, no. Go, no. No, no, go ahead. The fire shows had the saxophone. Oh yeah, they had the all of them. If it's saxophone, it was fire, and they knew it. They bring the same <laughs> nigga. They bring the same. Yo, that nigga made a million dollars off the theme songs. <laughs> Yo, we got one. We bring the sax nigga. In. <laughs> uh, I want to find that dude. Just have him talk about all the shows he he played the saxophone on. <laughs> you you know what's crazy? Um, off off that subject, there is the guy who did like the Family Matters theme, the step step by step theme, Full House theme. That was the same dude, and like uh, he was cracking them on a bunch of them. Jones, they would get one dude. Yeah, to yeah do, he was. To do he, was the, he was the Michael Buffer of theme songs. Yo, he was killing. Yo, you remember his shit. To this day, I remember every single word of each one of those. But that's the thing. They would get the same guy to do the theme songs, and he would knock them shits out the park. Yeah, Amazing, bring, bro. It, it was. I'm going to break up a show, and I want to, because we're going to start modern. I, like, shows can they exist in this time that we're in. A show is an older show. You think Sanford and Son can ever, that's because that style of comedy exists in 2023 because remember Fred used to talk shit about Puerto Ricans no he hated he hated white he hated white yo he he would talk shit about the Puerto Rican dude he he would say I remember the dude came over he said uh uh, um uh bonus dia bonus dia however you say good morning whatever in Spanish bomb dia and that's whatever that's Brazilian isn't it yeah no how you say fucking good morning in Spanish dog I know well, hello. Hello. bonus dias. Okay, he said that to Fred. Fred was like, uh, beans of disease to you. It's nah, like, that shit could rock. It could rock. <laughs> Yo. It could rock. Because Modern Family then, was doing that kind of comedy. And what he said, he said, Stanford he asked, he asked, like a little he bit asked the cop, he asked the cop, way, he said, way edgier. he said, Yo, why you ain't, why you don't pull over no white people? He was like, I do pull over white people. He said, that's a lie. He says, enough niggas in here to make a Tarzan movie. 
they used to be able to say nigga on the air like it wasn't nothing. Like it was I didn't just know that. Yo, you've never seen that episode? Nah. Yo, why? I'm going to send it to you. It's a clip. He said, because oh. Fred, no, Fred got pulled over in the courtroom. Fred got pulled over, got a traffic ticket, and he was representing himself in the courtroom. And the white cop, he put the white cop on the stand. And the white cop was like, he said, why you don't never pull no white people? He's like, I do pull away. He said, that's a lie. He said, he said, you pulled over enough. He says, enough niggas in here that you can make a Tarzan movie. And I fell I the fuck out. Niggas. Yeah, he said, nigga. It was funny, dog. I, I, I'm going to find the clip for you and I'm going to send you that shit because it was, shit was wild, son. It was just the funniest thing ever. It was like. Yeah. It's, it's certain shit. No, they can't. If you're, if you're going to do a sitcom. That was a sitcom. You can't necessarily. Black sitcom. A little bit different. A little bit That's, different. A black sitcom is different than a white sitcom. A white sitcom is meant for a certain demographic. A black sitcom is meant for another demographic. That's business when it comes to that shit. So the reason why I say that is because black sitcom can get away with that now. But a sitcom that's just an American, all American sitcom can't. Remember I just said Modern Family had jokes that were towing the line. But towing the white line mm. they can't say nigga they can't say niggas on there or they can't make the overtly black joke because yeah. there ain't no black motherfuckers on there because i think miss pat she does she's the one who i was thinking about earlier she does her show in front of a live sit, uh studio artist but it's on bt plus mm. she's allowed to cuss on there she's allowed to speak she's allowed to speak how she normally speak if you if you ever watch seeing miss pat or seen her comedy yeah. well She's a very funny lady, but is she funny? Yeah, she's very funny. She's funny okay. shit. She's well, I funny. With, uh, I fuck with Lil Rel Howery. He got a, he had a TV show oh, that funny. was live. I fuck with Lil Rel. I mean, I watched that last movie he did, The Mill, and I was a little on the fence about that. But as TV, far as the sitcom, how the sitcom? TV, his TV show was funny though, and that's that was shot live. Like, studio sitcom, exactly. Even the boy, uh. Oh my gosh, what's his name? He, he gay now. Michael, the car, uh, yeah, Carmichael show. Yeah, Carmichael show. Yep, that was all right too, though. Black sitcom. Yep. Uh, Mike Epps got the got the Mike Epps show or whatever that's called. It's called something else on Netflix it's now, isn't else. it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it's so fifth season or fifth season or something like that. Yeah. So, Dre, <laughs> you saying that because Family Matters, mm -hmm. say Full Black House, sitcom. white, uh, just sitcom period. Yep. Not nah, family matters cross both lines, white and black life. No, black. no, it, it did, it did, it but it was considered a black sitcom because it was an all black cast. So yeah, but it everybody I mean, I'm in it, our school watched it, but but it the crossed white both. Too. Yeah, it crossed both lines. That's what I'm so saying. Boy meets world. Boy meets world cross both line both lines. But if you have a show like Living Single and a show like Friends, mm -hmm. Living Single was mostly black. And friends mm -hmm. was mostly white, even though I watch friends. And a mostly. Lot of people, yeah, yeah, a lot of white, but I watch all friends. black, all white. <laughs> but I heard, you know, yeah, friends, friends came people. from friends. I, from what we they know. told, we, yeah, we know. stole their idea from living single. Mm -hmm. But they're yeah. both, they both equally were good shows. Like friends was my shit, and so was living single. They're both my shit. Like I can Classic. sit back and and rewatch both of them. They were just great. They were just great sitcoms. They were funny. I, another sitcom I like that might have been considered a, was a white sitcom, the Drew Carey show. Yeah, hell you, yeah. That show was funny as shit. But you wouldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't, it's like small pockets of black people that will watch that show. But it was a fucking great sitcom, dude. Let I, me tell you, I, kids. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought she was. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead, Dre. Take it, take it, take it. Kids, let me tell you. There was a Hall of Fame. Well, good sitcoms, and Kev, you you're gonna agree with me, and I and I'll you can, you can finish your shit. I just wanted to kind of interject with this. Yeah. If yours, if your favorite sitcom made it to the midday, mm. it was one of them ones. <clears throat> Drew Carey yeah. made it to midday. Yes, on, on its on its reruns, it was one of them yeah. ones. But go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> come home from what? school and there's reruns of the show. Yeah, I it watch was one it. Of ones. Drew Carey, Drew Carey was that work. Like I remember I, when I got my, when I remember getting my first apartment, I had no cable. I never had no cable. I was just young. So the kids like, don't know what that, cable is. 
Yeah, they don't know what cable is. It's, everything is streaming now. But back then it was cable. You had the TBS, the TNTs. I mean, you know, it was certain sitcoms on them shows, on, on them stations that was considered cable TV that you couldn't get on regular TV. They were a little bit more edgier. They they were able to get away with a lot more stuff than the people on on your local stations was. Yeah. But on the local ones, you had the Drew Carey show. You That's how I fell in love with Drew Carey show. I was just like, man, I ain't got cable. Let me see the fuck is about. funny. That's how I fell in love with Friends. I didn't have cable at the time, and Friends was on. I'm like, this shit is funny. Yeah. It was like this shit is this shit is funny. Even for even a, another one that was funny that I was like, yo, I, I just started it was Seinfeld. Seinfeld is funny as shit. And but they got a sitcom now, the uh Larry um what's the crazy Larry uh Davis. Larry David. Larry David, and the show is called um <laughs> the show he got on HBO. Herbie it's funny as yeah, Kirby Enthusiasm. It's pretty much Seinfeld on fucking steroids. <laughs> and that shit is just because it's just because you remember Seinfeld was a buildup. Everybody did something throughout the day that they all had a part in hand in doing, and it will finally like coincide at the end of the show that just made the shit even funnier. Honestly, I think that Seinfeld, the writing on Seinfeld was it was genius and it, I would say it wasn't appreciated in its time, but it was a hundred percent appreciated. It, dog, I was watching actively watching Seinfeld when the last episode came on. Like, it was popular then because it was just it 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 had that appeal. But that show probably was one of the one shows. Like other shows are funny and they were great, but this show was actually like geniusly Jeez. written to yeah. to do the things that it did in those interwoven plot threads. Like it was genius. And 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 that show didn't have it had like a small music at the beginning, but the beginning of the show was Jerry was doing the set every episode. Jerry would do a set on stage because he was a comedian, do a set, and then it would go into the show. So it was like you had to watch the beginning of that show because you had to see what was going on, man. But that those that's like genius level written shows that were funny. Some of the terrible sitcoms that came out back then. Oh my gosh, Frasier! I don't. Frasier had its place. <clears throat> yes. Frasier actually coming back out. Oh my been... god! No, it, it had its place. It was. It was certain. If you see that the the thing that you need to do when you do these con when you do these sitcoms, if you connect with the characters in any way, then you're a fan, and then you can understand why the characters do what they do. So, like, if you couldn't connect with Frasier, which I didn't for a long time until I got older, then things started to be funny. Then things started to make sense. And then it was like, well, I get why people like this show. It was the same thing with Friends. I didn't like Friends until a, a Muslim girl told me about it. And I was like, Man, I don't fuck with that shit. And then I started watching it. And then I literally watch it to this day. Yeah. I think that's what it is with the good sitcoms. Connecting with characters. With anything. It's connecting <laughs> even with us. And doing a podcast, if you connect with the people in any way, all of a sudden I care what you're saying, I care what you're going through, I care what I care what you're talking about, and then I get invested. That's why I um, cried when Jen died on Dawson's Creek. Mm. It was this Dawson Creek. I never a, got into them shows. Dawson Creek wasn't a sitcom. Dawson Creek it wasn't. Was a, it wasn't. But Roseanne was, was, and I cried when Dan died. Uh -oh. Oh yeah, Roseanne. Woo, gee, I don't think Damn. they tried to bring Roseanne back. No, they did. Roseanne, they did, and Roseanne got into some hot water. And they she kept fucked and, herself. Yeah. yeah, and they yeah, fucked, fucked it up. Herself. She, she fucked, fucked herself. herself. Yeah. yeah. She, I, wait, wait. Oh no, 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 no. She's crazy. She's. I don't think she did. I don't. I, mean, just, I, I don't find offense to what she said. If I if I have the context correctly, she said somebody looked like somebody from Planet of the Apes, and that person uh, just Michelle Obama. Black. I don't think it was Michelle Obama. It was somebody else because that would have been huge news, but it was kind of like under the rug news, but people knew. And she said somebody did, and they probably did. And it could have been funny if that person wasn't black. Yeah, man. And, that, and that's a show I that got to be funny. That's <laughs> a show. Yeah. Work. That's a show that got a, a, a comeback, man. It's, it's a couple of shows that I think can, that deserve 
a comeback. I don't want to talk about the one we're talking off air because I might might try to write and do it. But there's a couple of shows that deserve a comeback, man. They redid, sure. they redid the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, but it it was a drama. It wasn't no more. It wasn't <laughs> a sitcom anymore. It was hard to swallow. It wasn't funny. Like, it's not funny to me, really. Like it's just shit that just happens. It's definitely a drama. Yeah. Yeah, it's a drama. It's not supposed to be funny. It wasn't meant to. It was meant to be a, a carry a, a serious tone. Well, that's because back one. then, because yeah, back then in a lot of sitcoms, it, there were episodes that you had. It was a life lesson talk. The the best one was when uh, Will was trying to tell uh, Carlton like, "Yo, we can't be driving this car, this nice ass car, through this neighborhood with these white cops." Oh, like we're going. Yeah, we're gonna get pulled over. And Carlton wasn't getting this shit. He was like, Yo, well, the cops just doing doing his job. It was like, he was like, nah, you don't understand. He's not doing his job. And it was like a lesson that still goes on today about how police, you know, racially profile people and shit like that, which was like you had that episode. Um, I think the Steve Urkel, the Urkel one, um, Family Matters with Steve got when they when they when they spiked the drink and Steve got drunk. Oh no, I was talking about when they fucked Eddie ass up. And oh, oh yeah, they whooped Eddie's ass. Eddie, they, Eddie, Eddie gonna come to the door. Yo, fuck Eddie. <laughs> Dad, Dad, he Yo, always, fuck why was that nigga always hopping around him? Why was that nigga always hopping when he's talking? Eddie was always hopping when he talked. Did you notice that shit? Because he was trash. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, always... ain't do, Eddie ain't do nothing fire on Eddie that show. Was, he, he could play ball. Was, huh? He could play Barely ball. Barely Urkel was better. Urkel Your was, little white actually was, was a baller. Urkel was better than everybody nigga, and everything. That nigga started getting... That nigga started getting... <laughs> nigga, yeah, he got busy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your grandpa was... And they're running away with the with the funny ass run. <laughs> but yo, he was in the All Star game. It was him, and that's oh, the thing. Man. Him, oh, Carlton. Man. Who else was in that NBA All Star game? This was in the nineties, dog. I ain't had cable. No, nah, no. Nah, it was a um. There's a it's a picture. You take it's Urkel. It's Carlton. It's crazy because these niggas could never escape these names. <laughs> Fonte Ribeiro. Yeah, this nigga. Car, nigga he's, Carlton. he's a host of a very popular show now. I don't know what you're talking about. I know he is, but he's still Carlton, dog. You look at that nigga, you still see Carlton. You still see the dance and everything. Okay. Every time I hear, it's oh. not unusual. You <laughs> I just see the Carlton dance. It's already Carlton. It's called the Carlton dance. It's like the nigga had his own dance back then. Iconic. Like, yeah. And, and, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's just crazy, man. You see how like, Carl- Carlton was, was like corny, but Carlton was fire? Yeah. Eddie could never. <laughs> Eddie could ne- he could Eddie never could never you know what I'm saying like you just corny, you corny your friends was corny all that shit bro he was corny his car was corny he was a corny nigga he was like the mentally challengeable on oh my god <laughs> he was think about it all mm-hmm. how many times they tried to play him made him seem super dumb that who are you crazy. talking about bro Eddie who are you fucking talking about? <laughs> Yo, why you niggas? Why is niggas killing Eddie? And, 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 and then what was Eddie's other mentally challenged friends? Waldo, Waldo, and uh, Eddie and Waldo. And, yo, and it's the other boy. Yeah, and, and, yeah. Eddie of, of, yeah. of live television. Weasel. That's what you should write him as. What? Right, so Eddie challenged. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be so fire. But yo. Then it makes the most sense. He gets beat up at Rachel's place because they making fun of him and shit. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't get beat up because of that. He got beat up because they trashed his aunt place. Keep he up. got his ass whipped, but they trashed his aunt place. No, and, and and they tried to fucking he tried to get his revenge. He got his ass whipped again. I'm like, God damn, he got no. fucked up. And they fucked Eddie up. Man. <laughs> they just fucking they saw that nigga walking, running from the back, and they fucked his <laughs> <laughs> Yo. He ain't getting no revenge <laughs> by himself. What was them niggas called? The Snake Lords? The Snake Lords or some shit. The Snake. The Snake Lords. The Dragons, remember. the Red Dragons. Something, but, they, <laughs> but Eddie probably got fucked up by the one boy, that one big nigga they had in the group. That's who probably did the work on Eddie. That nigga was 48 years old. Get that mentally t- challenged kid. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? Oh, that's I'm just. Yeah. 
Let's huh? yeah, mark that down because yeah, I think they should write him as mentally challenged. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah a little bit, slow, a little bit slow the rest. Could play sports, but he That's wasn't cool. all there. He used to Damn. ask some retarded ass questions to people on the show, and you'd be like, What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, and then the times when Wal- and then the times where Waldo, because Waldo was really oh my god, challenging. but when when Waldo would, would say something that was smarter than Eddie, you'd have to look at Eddie like, damn, bro. You dumb as shit. <laughs> you dumb as shit. <laughs> you you got to be dumb as shit to let Waldo say that shit. But every time that they get mad, his hands would do this, and he'd, be, he'd just start bouncing. I'm like, come on. Why are you always bouncing? Like, maybe he is we something just, wrong with him mentally. He just answered your question. Because he's something wrong with him mentally. He'd just be bouncing. Like, yeah. I, but like, the, the nigga, like, damn, the Eddie <laughs> hate, man. The Eddie hate is, is Remember crazy. how Urkel used to talk to Eddie? He'd be like, he'd be like, Oh, Eddie. No, Edo. Oh, Edo. Edo. Oh, Edo. Edo. <laughs> when he, he put the O in front of me, he's like, you dumb, uh, dumb child. <laughs> Urkel be the cool one. That's where they're going to fuck the whole shit up. If you rewrite it, have Urkel be the cool nigga. Yo, come on, bro. Come yeah. On. Eddie see. was... Eddie was yeah, Eddie was retarded, man. You should do it. Who are, like who other like, damn, is that the only person that you really hated on funny sitcoms like that? Like, you yeah. ain't... Damn. Yep. Yeah, he, he had the most hate from me it's because a, he was just that corny. All right, let's let's talk yeah, about even Cole Brown. Even Cole Brown was up there. He was that, he was mentally challenged, but that man was funny. Well, see, talk speaking Riddle's on close. Martin. Speaking on Martin, Martin, I think I don't think a show like that can ever I don't think they can ever recreate that. That is like sitcom gold oh. right there. That is like legendary status in yeah, you can't. You you like, can't you can't because it's you just can't like you can't get that chemistry anymore. Like even with the current even with the actors currently, you cannot get that particular chemistry anymore. Martin don't gotta, even want I don't even think Martin wanna tell jokes anymore, it seems like. Nah, but you gotta understand, man, how that at that time Martin was the Martin was the hottest comic at that time. I think he was doing Def Comedy Jam. And everything he did on Def Comedy Jam was not written out as the host. Yep. That was all him improv and being the host of that show would let him get, like let him come into the Martin show which, how they explain that shit they would go on that show purposely trying to make each other laugh. <laughs> so these jokes, the jokes between him and Pam, dude, every time she came, like the jokes was just funny. This shit was just crazy. Or he tell niggas, or the famous line when niggas do something stupid in this house, get the step. That nigga get pissed and kick their body out of the script every single time. And this nigga can fight. The nigga can fight. They made the smallest nigga on the show never get his ass whipped. I remember uh, when Martin went to, uh, when he got locked up in jail and the big dude grabbed Martin up and he couldn't get away from Martin. Martin, like, trying to struggle. Next thing you know, the cut scene happened. Martin in there preaching like Malcolm X and the dude, the big dude grabs him again. He's like, see, that's what got your ass whipped over there by the phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's the star of the show, man. Right. Well, we'll see if he gets his ass whipped. Except for when he got jumped by the by the some uh little uh, people. <laughs> no, that's no, that was Tommy. Tommy got beat up by Tommy got beat up. Tommy, <laughs> Tommy got, got beat up, beat up. up the he showed up at the door like Eddie Winslow. <laughs> Yo, no, he was in a hospital or some shit. I forget. <laughs> nah, he was fucked up bad. Him and Cole went to the alleyway. He was like, Top, he looking for these niggas. And he thinks, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> who, who was on that episode? Yo, who got the worst ass with the sitcom history? Who got the worst? Who got it the worst of sitcom history? It's, so we can make this shit interesting. Who got it the worst? Man. Like, I think, damn. Would it be Is Tommy? Worse Tommy. Than something- I don't think anything was worse than when Martin got beat up by Tommy Haynes. That's Tommy not Harris. Harris. I mean, that's Martin. Harris. Give me something else. Give, come on. Somebody had to get it worse than that. And no, I'm talking no. About early, that? early sitcoms to maybe 98. Who got it the worst? Oh, I think it was Eddie. Didn't Will, didn't Will Smith uh, get, didn't uh, Fresh Prince get beat up? Yes, he did. I he, think, Ed, he caught that sharp ass hook from the dude to pull it. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The ball, oh, it, it, it was, was sharp. <laughs> I remember that episode. 
Damn, um, I don't know. Martin came back with yeah, the face. Time with <laughs> that Yo, boy, you really yeah, think the boy had the speed yeah. demon clay face? <laughs> it was in a boxing match. But it was about Eddie didn't Eddie yeah, did man. have to get the worst one. Eddie shit he looked it real as fuck. Eddie shit looked it real. Tommy, <laughs> Tommy was dragons. a close. Yeah, Tommy was a close second when he got beat up by the midgets. I Tommy. think they did put Tommy in the hospital. And yeah. damn, somebody I can't, uh, I can't think of somebody who got beat up because they of some drama style shit. I'm thinking you know, somebody got their ass whipped Stephanie, bad. Stephanie, so. I think Stephanie got her ass whipped by somebody. Stephanie, damn, you got to really Stephanie Tanner. When oh, she get beat up? Well, I don't know, but I think she got in a fight or something like you know how they had to, to, to dumb it down. Uh, I don't think Sean Hunter got in a the fight. They always made him scuffle, but not get into a fight. No, Sean sure got beat up before. Sure he got him. beat. No, yes, he he did get beat up one time because he. I think he was mad because what's the name didn't jump in and help him. He was all fucking ripped up. His shirt was all ripped up and everything. He had came in the house like you. Nah, uh, Corey A one. Corey would have helped him. Don't do that. No, Corey did. Corey went to Topanga. Corey, Corey, he would have helped him. I don't Corey. think Corey was there and he got. Oh, beat well, up. there you go. I can't fight what I can't see. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Who That's your fault at the end of the day, Sean. <laughs> like, Urkel never got nah, the worst, thing always... Sean, worst thing Sean did was try to join a cult, but we can talk about that another time. Oh, shit. Uh, he tried to join a cult. I remember Martin jo- joined the cult. <laughs> that nigga had half his hair braided. <laughs> Some, what was it? Sunflower? Was yeah. that was his name? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I think. That's when him and Gina was starting to go through. They when he started acting in out on, in real life in okay. the, in the show, and they couldn't have them on camera no more, which ruined the fucking show, man. That that's what Mark, That might have been later because I think it was starting. It was starting around that time. That was the season finale, and then when the, when it came back on, she went to go get him because she didn't know where he was because he was about to get married. So I think it came later it when she just was straight later. up off the show. Yeah. So speaking of okay, I can't think of any more beatdowns. What was the worst breakups on the show between main character? Ooh, don't do it. Don't do it. I, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. I think mine would be damn. It's a good one. Cause didn't Topanga break up with yes, Corey? Yep, yes. Yep. Yes. But that yep. might not be the worst one though. Was it, G- it what, might no, be Martin the, and Gina? It might Martin, be Martin and Gina. And Gina. I think it was because Gina was gonna leave me. He was and he he didn't want to. No, he told us that step. was one. Yeah, he told me step. Step. and he sat down the bed. No, Gina, no. <laughs> no, but she, no, but they got broken up. They broke up. They broke up. She was moving um, out. Yeah. She was gonna go to. Uh, she was gonna take a job in another in the West Coast or something like that. And oh, he ended up proposing to her. That's when they ended up getting married. Oh yeah, he had brought who was that? Johnny Gill? Was yeah. that Johnny Gill that came out singing? No, 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 no. It was uh, Brian McKnight. Brian McKnight. Brian McKnight. Yeah, that, yeah, was, that was fire. fire. Yeah, that was. Yeah. That's what singers okay, came with the wine and drank half the bottle. See, <laughs> yeah. Champagne drank half the bottle. Now we, see, now we're having a now we're having a discussion when we talking about which one was the best. There we go. Let's keep going. I'm um, but Torian to Topanga shit was it was ass though, but when, it was good. Um, it was ass. when Ross. Broke up with Rachel. That breakup was hard. That was mm-hmm. a hard one, dog. Don't get me talking, bro. Because that, I, that was like they was on a break. They was on a break. It was hard because she started living with Joey. It was. It just that got. Was, that's not the same thing. It wasn't the same, but it got weird. They would just like they would see each other and they just couldn't be in the same room because them getting together took so long for them to get together. Yeah. So when they broke up, it was like. Yo, you, I hated it. you took so long to get with her, and then yeah. y'all want that's just like Jamie Foxx when he uh broke up with um fancy, fancy, yeah, because it took so long for him. It's he was always after fancy, and they like boom, they finally get together. <clears throat> what the fuck did he do to cause him to break up? I think he wouldn't commit to the relationship or something like that. Dumbass shit, right. Yeah, we, like she wanted to move forward with the relationship, and he was still on some like stupid shit, and she just left him. He's like, and like, that's when they, and we like, that's when they changed the show, and he was a singer and all that shit, a jingle yeah. maker. Yeah, he yeah. left because yeah. he wound up, he wound up leaving, he wound up moving 
No, he moved out when he moved away to become a jingle singer. That's what caused them to get together because she realized how much she missed them. Mm-hmm. But when they finally got together, it was like, yo, you put so much effort into getting with Fancy. Now she wants you to commit to the relationship and you don't mm-hmm. want to commit. It was like, come, it was like, it was like one of them, come on, bro. Like you got the one you was looking for. Why? More that, was, that, that was a hard one. I, I think Ross and Rachel was probably the, the worst one. Yeah, that was bad. It was, think- it was stupid. They was on a break. And, you know, and when they was on a break, he called her. The other nigga answered the phone. Mark. Fuck Mark. Mark answered the phone. He thought she was fucking the nigga Mark. So he went home with the um with the cop photocopy girl. Oh yeah. And then Rachel came to his door the next day, say, nah, psych. We not and on a break. Was, and he, she was and in there. Ch- yeah, she was behind the door. <laughs> Yo, that, I that was the worst one for me. That that was the worst one. That was a bad one. That so we talk about breaks. What was the hookups you find like finally? We just talked about it, but we was like finally these two finally got the fuck together. Maxine and fucking um Kyle. That oh, was yeah. weird. That was that was funny. Yeah, because, was weird. Like, that was fire. Do you remember when it actually happened in your real life? When yeah, the niggas because was they were. They was on the couch. They had went out partying that night, and they woke up. It's like and she, she who woke up first was Maxine. Woke up first. It might have been Kyle. I don't remember though. They looked. They turned and looked at each other. Each other yeah. <laughs> best. The best one. Come on now. Top that because, one. Well, our Lauren Steve. and Laura. Yes, Lauren Steve. Uh, yes. Because when Come they finally on, got together, because they finally got well, together. Was- she was on his nuts. <laughs> yeah, because but she was with the boy. Because you remember Stephon. him and the boy Stefan split, and she was gonna get, she was gonna marry Stefan, and Steve was like, "I'm moving to Alaska," and then she finally was like, she kissed Steve, was like, "I I love you," and it yeah. was like, "Yo, yeah, God, yeah. yeah, fireworks, fireworks went off." Yeah, that shit was I crazy. Matter tell, he yeah, Steve ain't stay with uh. What's on Myra, oh, yeah, I think Myra at that point she, she passed away. Yeah, I think yeah. Myra, after that was after she? she was off the show. Yeah, oh, but was bad. Um, she was but bad. Yeah, I, I'm like, yo, you gonna choose? Laura was bad too. Don't Laura, get twisted. Not nah, yeah, but Myra was way Myra was better. Was she was bad. Better. She was Your bad. ghost is still bad, yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, so oh. you say Maxine, Maxine and Kyle. That was a good one because I I remember that episode. I remember the couch, the blanket they had. I remember that shit, and they tried You're to free. hide it for the longest. You were free. Uh, um, who else, man? <laughs> Yo, you remember when Tommy and Pam <laughs> got? You remember when Tommy and Pam finally got together, and they wasn't trying. They were trying to play that shit off. Yeah, but it was. Man. It wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't that. It was like. It yeah. was cool. It was cool. Um. Oh. Um. Friends. Um. When they was uh, uh, Chandler and Monica, I can't think of his name. It's Ross. Chandler, nigga. Chandler, Monica. Chandler and Monica. Yeah, when yeah, it was high was and, and they went to go look. When they went to go look at the naked man's apartment, and they seen Chandler and Monica. You remember because the naked guy they could always see to his apartment because he's yeah. always naked. But they was looking at the apartment over there, and they yes. like, oh my gosh! Only person Chandler, knew was Rachel. Yes, she knew. Cause she caught him. Yeah. She's, yeah, she caught them niggas doing long. Uh, I forget long how she is. caught them, but then they started fucking with him. But yes, I, I can go into that, but I ain't gonna go. Yeah, into cause that. Phoebe, Phoebe tried to get Chandler, tried to give him some pussy, and it got, it got like real close, and he was like, yeah, I can't do funny. it. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm in love with Monica. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Kevin, don't watch TV. Yeah. Uh, I don't watch Friends. Yeah, but when Rawls caught them niggas, cause Rawls got the apartment. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna fuck you, fuck Chandler ass. Up. That nigga ran across the street. Go no. Fuck you up. No. Oh shit! Oh, here's the one, ones, ones, bro. When Drew Carey got with um, oh damn, I don't remember that. You don't remember Drew Carey? I don't, I don't remember Drew him Drew. getting with anybody. Not the he fucking, got with the the, the, white, the lady that looked like him. Not no, his brother wound up marrying her. Oh, Drew's shit, brother bro. wound up marrying her, and they started dating. Drew Bro, got with the best boy. friend, the, the the chick. I can't remember her name. They used to always hang out. He wound up getting with her. He was always like, because he was always like had no luck. I'm trying to think of another one, man. 
that was like a fire hookup on the TV show. Like finally, these niggas just they got together. Like I can say Fancy and 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 Jamie, but that was weird because Jamie left and Fancy finally like came to her dumbass senses. Yo, you're mad about that. Yo, that shit bothers you. It does because it was like Jamie was on her forever. Yeah. And it took for him to his career started heading in the direction he wanted it to head in. And now she's like, don't go. You see, we ain't going to talk about how women just be trying to uh, hold men down. Go ahead. Talk about yeah. it. Hold men back. Man, like. Both. Hold him back because it's like right, she though. was scared that he was going to. Yeah. It was just like she was scared he was going to blow and he was going to forget about it. It's like, yo, he's been at you forever. And you've been playing him out with all these corny ass dudes. That she's she's like some cornball niggas, man. And Jamie will always get on them niggas, and she would just always tell Jamie like like to shut up or like just play him. Like you ain't you bad, but you ain't really that bad. Mm. Not back then, bro. So who was your back? She was the baddest back then. So who who was y'all? Who was y'all? Who was y'all sitcom crushes? Because we all had one. Um, I got two, yeah, obviously no Rachel, yours. Rachel Karen Green, but Topanga. Yeah, Topanga. I'm going to meet her. Uh, Keisha. I had a crush on Rudy when I was a kid. Oh my gosh, Rudy was well, fine which, when which I was Rudy? a kid. I'm talking about teenage Rudy when the show was like in the late teenage Rudy. Like I understand she got older, she got fine, but when she was a teenager on the show. I think she was like 13, 14. Mm. I was like 10 at the time. That was just had the, <laughs> Bro, had the biggest crush on fucking Rudy, dog. Like, Rudy was... Rudy was it. Like, Rudy was everything to me as a kid, dog. Like, come on, man. Like, to, no, I'm with you. how you no, felt man. about the penguin, that's how I felt about Rudy. Uh, you can yeah. I like Laura, too. I used to... Laura, when Laura got that short haircut... Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh you like him bald? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. it's like certain chicks that can get that, but you gotta understand in night in, in the nineties that was the cut. Every chick had that. Come yeah, on, Jada Pinkett, Jada Pinkett before she was retarded. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, that cut. So. Um, even I, um, what's, what was Fresh Prince's girl name on the show? Um, um Nia Long. But what was her name Yo. on the show? Lisa. Yeah, Lisa. 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 Short haircut. Yeah. Yep. That was a bad breakup think too. About how- Oh, to yeah, me. I to forgot because I was like, damn, I thought he was gonna get married, but go ahead. Yeah, I forgot about that breakup. What yeah. the fuck? He did something, he got caught with another yeah. chick. No, nah, they what just happened? stopped fucking with each other. I think they just decided that it wasn't working. Mm. Yeah, don't put that on him. Don't put it on his name. Yeah, don't put that shit on his name. So, okay, th- we're gonna wrap this. We're gonna wrap the ending up with the endings. What was some of the best endings on a sitcom? Or, on a sitcom? or the worst, or made you like, like, damn, like it's the over. Worst was when Will Smith was and in, in the Fresh Prince, and there was no furniture in that motherfucker. He just standing looking around. It's over. Still a mean to this day. I got one, but I'm gonna let y'all go first. Um, ending to a work? show. I think the ending, the best one, I think it was Friends. I think when Rachel found, I think Rachel had had the baby and Ross had, Ross came in the room and proposed to her. That was it. Yeah, that was it for the show. Well, they were moving to Paris is what it was. She was moving to Paris and she didn't say bye to Ross and, um, and he, he like, you know, was pissed off about it and shit. And she said, I didn't say bye to you because it would have been too hard. And then they wind up getting back together yeah. and going to Paris together is what happened. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Was that so the baby was in the last episode? I could have swore the baby, the baby was, the was old as fuck. <laughs> and Emma was like years before that. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. So that, I fucked up. I, I thought that was the last episode. So the last episode. Yeah, you just stopped watching. Yeah, yeah, you just stopped watching. Yeah, I stopped watching after that. Yo, whatever. You stopped watching last episode. Martin shit. Martin See, shit was, for me. <laughs> Martin shit was dumb. That was the dumbest one. That's when him and Gina start fucking up. It was just they was like supposed to get married, and Gina was somewhere. It was just. It was just. Bro, it ended terrible. Gotta, I don't. You I don't think they was a lot of these. 
things very early. Gina so, wasn't even on the show when Martin stopped. They been yeah. got married. So what? No, no. Yeah, <laughs> I just been stopped been watching this shit. I just stopped watching shit. I remember Fresh Prince one, and I remember Family Matter. Family <laughs> Matters. I remember. I thought the most. she was still on the show. They just wouldn't be in the same scenes together. She was like in another state and martin was in another state and they were I, yeah i just everything. started watching when gina oh. left the show i started watching i watched family matters to the end because yeah. i remember when uh steve and laura got married she fucking married, dumped yeah. stefan and that was it they um on on, so, on martin is on oh, martin gina wasn't on the show it was basically about martin and pam yeah because like they were like pam was working at a record company and shit and they bought other characters on it was like terrible like it was really bad at the end, they just wasn't fucking with the show. They tried to make it about Pam at that point, and it was just. That I know, bad. I know, Dre's is. I know Dre's is. We're going to tell it. You sure? It wasn't Boy Meets World. It was not. Uh, I thought it was when he got some pussy. <laughs> he got some he definitely, she got married. They got married. And he definitely got some pussy. Like <laughs> a lot. That, that, yeah. <laughs> he got some <laughs> <a little> pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Good. No. Well, Martin, the rest through the whole show. Martin, last episode, Martin and Gina accept their respective job offers in California. Cole proposes oh, marriage to Shanice. I I told you I was right. It ended yeah. weird. She was in another. They was in two. They different, were, they were, were, you weren't right though. But I got you. I was right. right. And but they were like I said, they were on two different. They were two different states, and they were arguing with each other because they she wanted to accept the job offer and. Cali, yeah. going different different directions but then they ended up going to see they just were in the same scenes they were always talking to each other on the phone type oh, shit. but yeah, yeah they worked for pam definitely worked for a record company it was yeah so, was I watched, so i did watch that was a season and that was just fucking it was whack it was just whack as fuck because it was like mm -hmm. she's on the phone it was like they was like mashing the screens together she on the phone he on the phone it was just terrible it was just horrible Damn. So you said you said bad. You said good or bad. So I gave that's the bad. That was just terrible. So how about yours, Dre? Right? I got two. One was Seinfeld when they all got locked the fuck up. That shit was hilarious <laughs> for just for just laughing at a nigga getting mugged. <laughs> yeah, shit. Those niggas got locked up because they laugh. They looked and laughed at a nigga getting mugged. <laughs> that's the funniest <laughs> shit ever. That's why they got locked up and they like that was it. They didn't get out of jail. Like I think they had like a year in jail or some shit. Some crazy shit. And the other one oh, was Roseanne. Shit. The other one was Roseanne because it it fucking hit it. It was like completely different than what you thought. Because uh, like at a certain part of the Roseanne series, I probably said this on here before. Um, like weird shit started happening. Like they won the lottery. They this was in the series like seasons before. Like they was doing a whole bunch of crazy shit. Like winning the lottery, doing a whole bunch of crazy shit. On the last episode, like halfway through. You find out that none of that shit actually happened. Oh yeah, that's what happened. Dan had a Dan had a fucking heart attack, and then that's when they started doing cool shit like winning the lottery. And then you find out that basically Dan died, and she was writing all that other extra shit in the diary. So it flashed back to the old house where they was broke, and then she started going over everything that happened pretty much in her diary. And I was like, oh shit. Shit. That shit threw me for a crazy ass loop. I ain't found that shit out until I was like 20 something. That shit was crazy. I was like, oh shit. So yeah. That was a great ending, man. That's that that see, that's that's good writing on that part. Yeah, that was that crazy. Was, yeah, that so, was so Jackie like was I, never mind. Mm. Yeah, that shit was cool. I was like, wait, what? Mm. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. But that that's that's the era of sitcoms, man. We, we're gonna wrap this thing up. It's like I would love this. I would love to see that era come back. I think it's a place for it, but it just it's just so much shit. It'd be so different because, like I said, sitcoms had everything. They had life lessons. Mm -hmm. Um, you had that. You had the the family aspect. Everybody came together to watch it. You had the fashion on there. What certain stars was wearing. The popularity of characters outside of the show and how big they were catchphrases we forgot to talk At, about that yeah best catchphrases damn we didn't go over that because there's a That's lot right. of we could 
do y'all want to do it real quick or just want to wrap it up? Okay, that the catchphrases, which was <laughs> did I do that? What's your favorite? What's your favorite one? Do it. He gonna do it though. Did I do it? <laughs> you said no. All right, we'll just wrap it up. But my favorite is. <laughs> oh man, what's your favorite ones? Just to say it so that people can know. I just did it. Can I? Did I do that? That was like I said that shit all the time. Like this shit was a it was a corny thing, but it was funny. Even when you met it too early. <laughs> <laughs> so Lizzie got inside Laura. Did I do that? Bitch, I'm pregnant. What the fuck is you talking about? Go ahead. You ain't got one. Catchphrases. What? Come on, you didn't do that. Everybody did that. I mean, my favorite. I mean, I. Uh, I mean, I do that was popular. That I do that was popular. Uh. I don't know. Get the step. It might have been oh, my. Shit. Favorite. Hey, Mister Wilson from step. Dennis the Menace. Oh shit. It was wild. It was wild. <laughs> Who was you saying that to? <laughs> <laughs> oh, if it was a nigga Wilson. named Mr. Wilson, um, I don't know, man. I don't know either. It would have saying. to be any of Steve Urkel's. I know y'all niggas did Steve Urkel's dance. Y'all was at school practicing too. Nah, I did I the. Uh, all that I, did the I did the Carlton dance. <laughs> did the Carlton? <laughs> Digga, I learned the Carlton. Like that was that was it. Kev, can you do the Carlton dance today? Nah, I can't do it today. My knees. Nigga couldn't do it knees. before. <laughs> Nobody could. Let's do it. It's, a, it's a swing to it that you got to master. Nah, Martin had a lot, man. What's up? I think everybody said what's up. Come on now. Everybody yeah. did the Martin what's up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, how about how about this one? Martin, I did uh, Martin, I just did one. Of the... <laughs> people people say did. that now, though. What? Good. Cause that, cause that scene has its resurface and it's funny, but we weren't saying it to each other, fucking twenty, thirty years ago. Sorry, I lied to you, Martin. Just want didn't want to move to Arizona. We weren't saying it. It was just funny. Nigga said, "What's up?" Everybody said, "What's up?" I mean, Everybody they even put it up. on a, a Boost Mobile commercial. They, they tried to switch it up to make it sound a little different, but that was that was basically Martin. Why is that? Yeah, I thought niggas would have catchphrases, dog. Like it was, a, it was so many, man. It was Steve Urkel. It would be Steve was, Urkel. Anything because he was so popular. Did I do that? It was definitely one of the ones. Uh, definitely one of the but, ones. You got but, it, Mister. You got it, dude. I meant stuff like that. Yeah. yeah so, um, was yeah. I, I just whole house. It just, it, oh, it just that I miss. I, I just hope. I wish that not sitcoms would come back because I think it's missed. <laughs> I think it is one thing. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck was that? Who farted? Did that nigga fart? Uh, Oh, background yeah. you're, <laughs> like you're so behind, bro. Yeah, this nigga is late with everything. I'm not looking at the because I can't look at the screen because I can't look at should. the people figure, figure out a way to do it. Set up. I gotta, I gotta look at my red dot. I tried to do it today, but this shit is so behind too. My shit is stacked on a printer, stacked on a box of cookies, stacked on, and I'm looking directly at my fucking camera while I'm yeah. looking at the screen. Nah, my, oh, if my I look God. at this. Screen to see what y'all niggas doing. This is what I would look like. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would look like. Yeah, movie but, um, Yeah, but I just wish 90s, I wish sitcoms in general would just fucking come back, man. I think they are a missed aspect of today's life. It's just like, how would you wrap that shit in with today's fashion, um, with the clothes, with the artists? Because it's, it's difficult because sitcoms back then gave you some type of morals. Like, they had morals. They was That's a good point. They were trying to do the right thing and point families in the right direction while also showing the real dynamic of how households was maintained with, you know, a little bit of overtop with the funny, but they just showed you this is how real people live. I don't think they can do it today because can't keep everybody can't catch attention. They can't catch the attention. These kids was like, oh man. You know the the black kids would be over gangster, too gangster. Just it would just be it would just it would just kinda, be corny, man. They they kind of and I don't want to continue to beat the same drum, but they kind of did that to us back then, more on a corny way too, where they would kind of make us a yeah. little too urban, and you'd be like, "Yo, nobody act like that." Yeah, the the, you know, the, but, the gangsters were too urban. Yeah. It was just it was just, but the actual families. The Cosby's that was I think the Cosby's did it the realest when it came to looking like how a family aspect was supposed to look like. I think they nailed it home. Family matters. 
was a little too popcornish. It was a little corny, but it was good. It didn't paint us in a negative light. Martin was just funny because you can see people at that age with no kids just having fun actually living like that. You envy that, right? Yeah. Uh, that shit yeah. got to you. Yeah, that, that was just... <laughs> yeah. but I'm just saying, you could, but you can see that. That right there, they in their 20s, we go into the bars, we having fun. We all we having a lot of gatherings at our house. Nipsies, everybody oh, was yeah, at Nipsies. Yo, yo, that's just that's just speed, bro. All you yeah. missing is like the green couch. That's all you missing, it. bro. That's it, but it's just that and the hair. Yeah, that's it. So I if they were to redo 90 sitcoms, like just don't overdo it. Just Pull at if you're gonna do a black sitcom, pull from a natural black home. You don't gotta go. You don't gotta go get the ghetto people. You don't gotta get the most uppityest motherfuckers. You just get that in that middle area, and I think it would do well. But um, that's another Boring. episode. Of, uh, <laughs> <laughs> man, we out, man. Fuck y'all niggas. Peace, man. Uh...